there. Before we continue with this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you have bell notifications for all uploads. Hey everyone, uh, just wanna have this video as a little uh, sort of PSA. So this is gonna be going over the new metal drivers and their obvious issue. So it's funny enough, I did already do a video saying, hey, you know, I think there's probably gonna be a big issue. Now to those who are hesitant and like, hey, let's wait and see, hey, props to you, cause that makes sense. But man, there were some scientists, I'll be using air quotes on that one if you could not tell, who were like, oh, it is impossible for the metal drivers to cause any wear to the teeth. Come on, it's basic, so like, listen, some experts, right? And guess what? <laughs> they were wrong. It does cause wear. I've seen a tweet where it is a massive wear. I've actually seen it firsthand on my own actual 1D chassis on my prize bay where the wear has already happened. Now, uh, it's on this side or this might be on the other side. It's on the other side. So you will notice that my 1D on a specific parts there, you can see that it's already worn quite a bit. So what I've been able to understand is specifically, pretty much don't use this on older stuff. On older stuff, it'll definitely uh, wear down the teeth. Let's focus on specifically sparking because it's easier to go through. On double chassis, they, okay, I'm gonna show an example. So I have this guinea pig, Glide Ragnarok. I have a single chassis, it doesn't really matter what it is. I have one D for an example. So let's put, let's go with the metal defense. So I want you to listen. And the lock, you can hear, tight. It's really forcing it on a uh, glide. If I put this on a double, you know, this 1A. So we're gonna look at it, Which and is. then after at the... So let me just try the curse. Let me try curse right now, just to make sure. No, even Curse is the same. Well, okay, Curse isn't raised, but don't worry, this is my spare Curse anyways, though. So. Yeah, so, okay, maybe I shouldn't have picked Glide for the, the double chassis portion. Wait, why am I doing that? I can just move this. No, okay, because I have to, I have to press on it. Uh. Didn't think I'd be spending my time doing this, but here we are. Come on, it's gotta be something. Oh man, this is gonna be a, I, I don't know if it's worth it on the double. Man, I can imagine someone's watching the video. The alternate title for this video should be Beyblade Clicking Sounds. Come on, there's gotta be something. Do I see anything? Yeah, I'll just, uh, let's let's safely just say that it's specifically with single and double it takes a lot more time. Or just like. So I know what you're thinking that, oh, because you're doing it forcefully, so of course the teeth are gonna like wear. But you gotta also understand context and battle. In battle, it's the same thing. So let's already try to see. So nothing yet, nothing yet. So you do have to probably do it for a little bit. Obviously this is something over time that's not right away. Honestly, like, listen, even if these drivers didn't have this issue where it caused wear, it still wouldn't change the fact that uh, these drivers are useless. Like Metal Defense, Metal Excel, Metal Fusion, they're not gonna have any use. So I don't know why people think for some reason those drivers would have some use regardless. So, you can see a little bit now. Let me try to do XL, because I think it's easier just to do it. So it's gonna be like a speed run. The, the speed run, how fast can I wear my stuff? It was just to demonstrate the thing. Anyways, it's not like it's an important base. I don't think it matters too much. Yeah, I'm already starting to see it. So I gotta do it a bit more. I don't know if people are gonna be like, oh, because you're being so forceful, but you gotta understand again, the context of the battle, yeah, of course it's gonna happen. The stuff will still click, uh, it's still gonna be strong, so. 
We just do the same sort of idea. Just make sure this is good. Okay, yeah, I'm actually starting to see it quite a bit now. So we gotta, we, we just gotta do it a little bit more. I feel like if I didn't put music, this would count as like a Beyblade ASMR or something. I don't mean to be joking right now, this is kind of a serious thing. Okay, I think I've demonstrated the point. Okay. Dear God! Man, that actually sucks. Look at that. Yeah, you can definitely see it. I'm sure that double could eventually also get wear too. I'm sure of it, but probably not as not as fast as a rake as let's say single or normal wear stuff. Okay, so in conclusion, let's uh, let's go over what this means and good or bad. Uh, obviously bad. Move this. All right. So what it basically means for these drivers is that when you're going to be battling. These things, because a lot of people are like, oh, because you're putting a lot of force, but you don't realize that when the thing is in the stadium, it's pressing down on the thing. And it, it, it depends, but yeah, these drivers are not good at all. This was a pointless system by Takara Tomy. Uh, I'm sure maybe eventually get a case where someone used the double chassis and eventually they got worn. I think doubles take a lot longer than single. But single definitely we saw that it could easily, two cases now, two cases now, because I just showed my original one where it uh, can wear. So my advice is going to be for Takeratomi collectors, if for whatever reason, unless it's for collect, if it's just for collection, you can just assemble it, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, you know, I don't recommend using these drivers. Anyways, these drivers are not going to have that much uh, use anyways. Like. The high drivers have use more than this, and the reason why is because it's a different factor. You know, high drivers are like, you know, taller versions than the original. Like, they kind of like Speedstorm, but better than Speedstorm, so they don't de destabilize as easily. But, you know, if this was a poor idea from TT, like even Speedstorm Metal, like Speedstorm Metal is like, okay, Speedstorm Metal drivers have the big flaw where they destabilize a lot easier than I would say normal Speedstorm drivers do. So that makes kind of all of them kind of useless, right? But at least they're not dangerous, right? That's the thing I gotta say. At least they're not dangerous. Now, I could say this, this well, this is definitely intentional how they made the driver. I just think they didn't think it through. What I think they should have done was maybe they could have put some metal in it, but maybe have mostly plastic with it or something. I don't know how they could have done it differently, to be honest. I think they should have just kept the high driver's idea and just go with that. We really did not need a new system. And my fear, right, okay, people have said, okay, what about, what if they do metal teeth for like the new series or there's some bay that has metal teeth? Uh, that still has the problem, right? Because if it has metal teeth, then you can't use the plastic drivers on. It's like the reverse situation. So, I don't know, unless it's really specific that they did this, I, I, I could not see why. Uh, but yeah, this is just a video just to showcase the thing. It sucks for me, right? Because I have to actually do videos with it and I have to show it off. Like if I have to do the stock combo battles, like yeah, I gotta I got use it. Uh, but I don't think I'll be risking my older stuff uh, for using these parts. Unless like I'm a really crazy mad lad and decide to do it. But I don't, it's not, there's no real, it's not really worth anything to be honest. Because I was thinking of doing, oh, I'll do the original Valkyrie and the original Kerbeus with it. And then after I'm thinking, yeah, but then after I don't really want to go buy again a Valkyrie and a Kerbeus. What I will say is this. For sparking, we saw the thing. For older stuff, most certainly you'll see the same problem. But I'll be it for now. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, what do you think TT should do? Well, they can't really do anything to fix it. What? What, do you think they should still do this driver system? Do you think the driver system maybe somehow has some benefits? What, what, what is your preferred new system? Not counting dash drivers. Would you count speed storm? Sorry, high driver, 
high drivers or metal drivers? What do, what do you think they should do more of, I guess? Sorry, because I confuse it. And that's another thing too, actually, because these things are technically also dash drivers because they got a reinforced spring. So not only is this metal thing like snapping on it, but it's a strong lock too, so that's, uh, forget it. Anyway, stay safe and have an amazing day.